Back with us on the conversation. Women have loomed large in the political history of that constituency in Jamaica. Madam Rose Leon was a member of parliament. Mavis Gilmore for the Jamaica Labour Party. Juliet Cuthbert Flynn is now flying the flag for the JLP. And if the PNP have its way, Crystal Tomlinson will be the next standard bearer and representative of that constituency after the next election. I say all those things to say to you, Juliet, that when you look at the history of West Rural St. Andrew, again, in terms of parliamentary elections, the largest, well, the smallest majority was about 48 votes. Mavis Gilmore got home by 48 votes, but she also was responsible for the biggest majority, some elections later, almost 5,000 votes more than her opponent. Women loom large. They have been dominant in this constituency, winning it for both the JLP and the PNP. You're facing a young challenger, uh, a, a young woman of substance, a young woman whom the PNP believe has the potential to take on a significant leadership role in the party and by, ex ex by ex extension the country. How are you feeling about that challenge? Um, you know, I go back to my track and field days. Mm. <laughs> and in track and field, or just in life in general, you have challenges. Mm. Um, do you focus on your challenger or do you focus on your work? Do you focus on your what you have to do? And I think I take this all back. I expected a challenger. Um, I knew that the PMP would have to put somebody in West Royal St. Andrew. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter to me who they put. What I've been doing for the last three and a half years is working for the people. And one thing that I recognize about West Royal St. Andrew going in, they say it's a swing seat. Yes. If you don't work, if you don't put in the work, West Rural St. Andrew people don't want any handout. Mm -hmm. You have those few everywhere, but they want to see work being done. I believe that you have more JLP supporters in West Rural St. Andrew than you do the PNP. And so that's, I think, that's the reason why it's a swing seat. If you come in and you do not perform, they will not go out and support you. Mm -hmm. And I find that the Jamaica Labour Party supporters really and truly, the difference is they want to see work being done. They do not want a handout. They want to be elevated. They want empowerment. And I think once someone goes in and, and, and that's been done, I think they will come out. So I'm not really worried about my competition at all. And that's from, again, track and field background. Mm -hmm. I've never worried about my com competitor in any race. Um, I know that there's a Merlin Otti or whoever in the race, and I know what they're capable of. But if I do what I need to do, do my training, it's the same principle that I'm putting in, in this. Mm -hmm. I'm not watching my competi competition at all. If you do that, then you lose sight of what you're trying to do. And that what I'm focused on is to move just like we said, from poverty to prosperity, is to move West Rural, the residents there, from poverty to prosperity. What does that mean? That is looking at what the government's policies are. And I see people writing that, you know, the government doesn't have any policy, et cetera. But when you look to see what it is exactly we're trying to do, we hear of, oh, they're trying to, a new Jamaica, what is that? Um, we're fixing different infrastructural problems that we've had in order for you to move forward. You look at the 2030 vision, um, and if we don't, if we focus on the 2030 vision and try to achieve most of those things, yes. you're going to move the country forward. Yes. It is a must. Yeah, you may fall short, you, but you, you, may you, fall you, short. you move from where but, you are now. Exactly. But, but, but on, the point of, on the point of the challenger, um, of course, you, you say your focus is tunnel. Yeah. You're looking forward. You're not looking around. But three years ago, you were the fresh-faced woman challenging. You were liked by so many people, of course, because of your accomplishments in track and field. And then you presented a new face as a sports analyst, and everybody liked to hear Juliet talk about sports. You, as you said, had this streak of advocating for those who you believe were being put upon, or set up against then, so to speak. You were that person against an MP who professed to be doing a lot of work, implementing a lot of systems. I'm talking Paul Buchanan, the former member of parliament for the constituency. And it must have been that while you were challenging Juliet, you were looking at the incumbent and how to unseat him. No, Crystal Tomlinson will be doing the same thing to you. I can recall Paul Buchanan saying that he wasn't thinking about you, he wasn't worried about you, he was focused on himself, and he lost. 
Will you make the same mistake by not looking at what your challenger is doing to see how you can move to, in the minds of the people at least, neutralize some of the professed strengths of your challenger so you can maintain your incumbency at the next election? No, you have to know the strengths and weaknesses of your challenger. Just like I said, you know your competitor. You know your competition. You know what's out there, but you're not focused on that. If, I, if you start to focus on, say, this person, like in track and field, ran extra time and go, oh, my God, that was a fast time. And then you lose focus. You have to know the strengths and the weaknesses of your challenger. But you still have to maintain that focus on you. What it is, what, what is it that I promise these people? What is it that I want to see get done? What is it that the people want? And make sure you get that done. Once you're doing those things, I know that I will be victorious. But is there anything, though, that you think in your, that you've said, well, you know, maybe I need to step up this? Because here you have no. Someone who's coming in with a high profile. Some people saw Paul McKellen as a, a bit of an old stager. And as I said, you had the advantage of being fresh. You're not old by any means, but your challenger is fresh. Is the, she is the fresh that you were three years ago. So, so, so she's coming in. Are you, saying, are you saying to yourself, well, that look, she has a high profile, of course. She is a, a, in a relationship with a very high profile, arguably, or, or, or best dance or exponent, a, a beanie man. She has this profile. She has this background. She has this base coming. Maybe I need to step up one, two, three to ensure that I stay ahead in the minds of the people. Have you had that contemplation? Um, really? No. And I'm, I'm being honest, not really. Um, she has been campaigning with her significant other. Mm. And, and maybe because she feels that she doesn't have that strength by herself. And so she's been campaigning with him um, to get persons to possibly, you know, be drawn to um, her or her, that's her campaign team, I don't know. But that is what she's doing. Beanie Man will not be the one in Parliament. Mm. He's not going to be the one, you know, doing the things for the people. It's her. People are looking at that. And so maybe she needs to look at her strategy as to what it is that she's doing wrong. Because I'm walking out there by myself, still interacting with the people, still getting the things done that I promised to get, get done. However, she now has, to, I feel, has to campaign with someone else to bring up her profile. Mm. And I think people are also looking at that as to why is she bringing this person in to walk with her or to be around her. Do they think we're frightened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you know, Jamaicans are not frightened for, for stars no. or we're mm -hmm. just not. You're just another person. People come from overseas and Jamaicans just pass you yes. and take a look at you and pass you. Mm -hmm. It is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And so I, again, I'm listening to what's going on on the ground and I'm listening to the people from both sides, mm -hmm. both the PNP and both the JLP. Mm -hmm. And I think that is why I can say what I'm saying. Um, once I keep, I have some projects coming on, 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 on stream soon, and once I keep doing the things and getting water for the people, getting the roads fixed and putting in other infrastructure, I think, and once I stay with the people. She's the head of the, she's head of new media within the PNP. And of course, she is very active and popular on social media. Uh, do you have the tools to fight a good battle on social media to ensure that you have no, you're at no disadvantage in terms of wooing voters through that platform? Um, you know, I think when the time is right, I will get that done. Mm. No, um, right now I actually do my own social media. Mm. I think I do a pretty decent job um, just putting the things out there that I need to get out there. But I think once and we get closer once we know that an election is coming, then I will make sure whatever needs to be out there will be out there. So I'm not necessarily worried about that because, again, social media doesn't win um, elections. Um, it's you being on the ground and the people seeing you and interacting with the people. The people in West Royal St. Andrew, they don't really care about social media so mm. much. Mm. And so you could be a social media tete and, you know, nothing happens. Mm. And so it's really about being with the people, interacting with the people. And I think I'm in my constituency ever since I won. Um, about six months after I gave birth, I was back in the constituency, and I'm in the constituency at least three times a week in mm -hmm. different sections. Mm -hmm. People may say they're not seeing me but because I'm not campaigning, mm -hmm. but I'm in the constituency at least three, three days a week. 
So when the time comes for social media and for me to do whatever is necessary, I will be doing that because it will be campaign time. One of the things that I've found from my time doing elections and well, I don't have Cliff Hughes' experience, but my <laughs> experience is still good enough to draw on. Mm -hmm. I find that when people are going head to head, as will happen when nominations and Crystal Tomlinson becomes a candidate and you are the MP that she's looking to unseat, you find that people in the campaign, they don't mention each other by name. So a, an interview will come to you, Juliet, and say, and say, you know, so your challenger was here, you know, what do you think of what Crystal did at the meeting last night, and you say, oh, well, that other individual, so and so and so and so. And I find that to be asinine, mm -hmm. and I find it never works, and people just think that, think, 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 think poorly of you. I yeah. say that to ask. In this campaign, whenever it starts officially, how do you plan to engage across the fence with Crystal Tomlinson? What, 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 how, how, how do you plan to speak of her, speak about her? if at all. Well, you know, it'd be the same thing with Mr. Buchanan. I still call Mr. Buchanan's name. I didn't have a problem calling Paul's name because, mm. you know, whenever we saw each other, we were very cordial with mm. each other. We said hello and we we're gone. There's, I had nothing to really say to him, mm -hmm. um, but I could call his name. Mm -hmm. I have no problem calling my com uh, my competitors or my opponent's name. Um, if um, I think I was, I was doing a water thing turning on a water um, in Golden Hill yesterday. The people, they have, they've been without water for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. There was a tank in the community. We refurbished the tank, and we had now set up and you know, ran pipes into different communities, two other communities, so people could get water. And at the last minute, she, she walked in, and she just kind of touched me on my shoulder mm -hmm. and said hi. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice who it was. I turned around, said hi, and then realized it was her, and she was gone, and I was gone. So it really depends on how you interact with me. Mm. If you show me respect, I'm the sitting member of parliament, and if you come into a room and you show me respect, then I'm going to show respect um, um, to you. But I don't have a problem, you know, I don't you know, push away an opponent just because. Um, the other female that was there, Jennifer Hosen, we were cordial. We have gone to um, other functions and you actually acknowledge the person that's there. That's only being respectful yes. and I was brought up that way. Yes. So I don't have a problem, um, you know, with any opponent that, that's, that's there. Hear you on that. We're halfway through the program. This is The Conversation. Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, MP for West Rural St. Andrew. And she's looking to defend her title.